Okay, so one area in algebra where most people make a lot of mistakes is when working with matrices and specifically when multiplying matrices. And uh, that's what we're looking at right here. So we have a matrix multiplication problem. So let's see if you can do this. And if you don't know how to multiply two matrices together or even what a matrix is, I will explain all of this step by step. But uh, what we want to do here is multiply this matrix with entries 1, 3, uh, 1, 3 0, negative 2, and we want to multiply it by 5, 1, 2, and 4. Okay, so again, very easy to make a mistake. The procedure here is not that difficult, but uh, the actual execution, the calculations to find the answer here, again, is full of opportunities to make errors. Even if you are a strong student and if you understand how to work with matrices, you gotta be very careful. All right, so if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then of course, I'll walk through step-by-step step how to multiply these two matrices together and how to multiply matrices in general. So if you're a little bit lost and, you're, and if you don't know what a matrix is, I will explain all of this. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so real quick here, for those of you that don't even know what a matrix is, all a matrix is, is a way to organize information by rows and columns, okay? It's basically nothing more than a fancy table, right? So if you have some sort of table like this, and uh, you could put any information you want in this table, maybe it's gonna be the days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then down here, maybe you're gonna have your meals for that week. You know, there's all sorts of things that we organize by rows and columns. Matter of fact, if you're familiar with spreadsheets, things like Microsoft Excel or database, well, this is effectively a matrix or what we call, it's a little fancier name for those of you that are up to speed on computer stuff, an array. And I don't know if I spelled that wrong. If I did, I apologize. But an array, a matrix, a, a, a table, these are effectively the same thing. Again, ways to organize information uh, by rows and columns. Now, multiplying matrices or working with matrices is a huge topic in algebra. Okay, this is something you absolutely need to know. But again, very easy to make a mistake. But uh, let's go and take a look at the answer. So we have this times this. And if you did this right, the correct answer is the following. So we have another matrix here with entries 11, 13, negative 4, negative 8. Okay, now if you got this right, that is super impressive. Matter of fact, I have to give you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100% and multiple stars. You could tell your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of basic matrix multiplication because this problem right here is not that difficult. See, uh, this matrix is what we call a two by two matrix and this is a two by two matrix. So this is not too tough. But when you're dealing with bigger matrices like three by three or four by four, uh, in the, these problems become uh, exponentially more challenging. Okay, so let's go and get into this. Again, if you don't know what a matrix is, I kind of already told you, it's just a simple way to organize information by rows and columns. All right, let's talk about matrix multiplication. Now, here's the deal. When you want to multiply two matrices together, you have to check first whether in fact you can. But we can't even understand uh, how to check to see if uh, two matrices can be multiplied together if we don't have a way to uh, basically describe a matrix. And the way we describe a matrix is by its size and specifically its rows and columns. So this way, when you look at a matrix, these are the rows and uh, this would be the first row, row one. This is the second row, row two. And then we have columns right here. So this is column one, this is column two. So again, we're gonna describe uh, a matrix by its rows and columns. So this is a two by two matrix right here, two rows, two columns, and then this one right here is also a two by two matrix. All right, so you, again, you can have all different sorts of matrix size, four by one, three by two, doesn't make a difference. So 
first things first, first you have to size up your matrices and then you have to say, okay, can I multiply them together? And this is what you have to check. All right, so if you wanna multiply two matrices, you gotta first check to see whether in fact they can be multiplied. And the way you do that is the column, remember two, a two by three, for example, uh, would be what, two rows by three columns. So you'd have two rows here, three columns right there. And we wanna multiply this by a three by two which is a matrix that would look something like this, three rows and two columns. You might be saying, or that's uh, three columns, two columns right there. You might be saying, well, I don't know, can you multiply this by this? By this? Well, we have to check. So rows and columns. So the column of the first has to match the row of the second. Okay, so in other words, if these two numbers right here are the same, that indicates that indeed you can multiply these two matrices and the answer is going to be the following. It's gonna be uh, the rows and columns. So you're gonna take the row of the first and the column of the second. This is gonna be the size of the answer. So if you multiply a two by three by a three by a three by two, your answer is going to be a two by two square matrix. So pretty interesting on how this works. So you don't know, you know, you just can't assume, oh, these two matrices can or cannot be multiplied. You gotta check, uh, you know, the rows and columns and then kind of see what the size of the answer is going to be. Now, in our case, we have a two by two being multiplied by two by two. So obviously uh, these are equal and our answer is gonna be another two by two. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into the procedure on how to multiply because this is where uh, people get confused. And uh, you know, even though the procedure is not that difficult, it's very easy to make an error because uh, you know, basically you're doing a lot of arithmetic. You gotta stay highly focused. And uh, this particular problem, the entries here are nice, lovely little integers. But in more challenging problems, you could have fractions, positive, negative fractions. Um, it could get much more exciting than, uh, than this. Okay, so here is how we actually multiply matrices. All right, you're going to use the rows of the first matrix and you're gonna use the columns of the second matrix. Now let's talk about the position of a matrix, okay? In other words, the entries of a matrix. So this position right here, and we would describe this as uh, being in the location of row one and column one, okay? This is row one, column one. Here, this is what? row. We're still in row one, but we're in column two. Down here, this is row two, column uh, one, and then over here, row two, column two. Now these row uh, row ones, column two, the uh, location is going to determine which rows and columns we're going to use. So how do we calculate row one, uh, column one? Well, we're going to use the first row, row one here, and column one of the columns, okay? So remember, we'll always use the rows of the first and the columns of the second. So to get the answer here, row one, column one, this position, we have to use uh, row one, column one. Okay, so how do we actually get the answer? Well, you're going to do this. You're going to start, and this is gonna go for the rows, you're gonna go from left to right, and for the columns, you're gonna go, you're starting down, I'm sorry, uh, you're gonna start from the top going down, okay? So we're going to multiply these entries like this, and then we're gonna scoot over to the right and scoot down and keep going until we run out of numbers. All right, so this is the way this works. Okay, so we're gonna start right here, one, and we're gonna multiply by the column. So one times five is what? Well, that's five, right? So we're going to write this down. What we're doing here is calculating the actual value for row one, column one. So again, we're using row one, column one. So we're gonna multiply these numbers. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna add and we're gonna scoot over. We're gonna add these, um, add this product to uh, the next set of numbers. So we're gonna go over to the right and go down one. So this is gonna be three times two. So one times five plus uh, three times two, and then if we had more numbers, obviously we would keep going. But once we're all done, we uh, get the answer to this little um, calculation, and we put it right there. Okay, so not difficult. I know it's a little confusing, especially when you first learn this, but easy to make a mistake. But what is not easy to make a mistake is for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely need your support. You see, I need your help to continue to grow and reach as many people as I possibly can. Now, one of the things when it comes to math that people have, a, um, I think, uh, get themselves in trouble is they think that this stuff is just easy to learn. Even if you're like really good at math, you're like, oh, it's so easy. You know, why isn't this not coming easy to me? Well, 
uh, you know, I really, to be uh, honest with you, uh, you know, I've taken a lot of advanced math. It, it math just it, there's just too much information. Nobody just naturally learns all this stuff. So you have to work at learning math. Okay. So if you're looking for easy ways to learn math, like shortcuts and whatnot, you're gonna get yourself in trouble. So you gotta make a decision where they're gonna truly kind of buckle down and study and work and practice. So make that decision first if you want to improve and actually learn math. And then after that, you need great comprehensive instruction. So if you want, uh, you need more help with algebra, matrices, whatever the case might be, check out my full main math courses. You'll find links to all of those in the description of this video. And this particular topic that we're talking about, algebra, I'm sorry, uh, um, matrices, uh, you want to check out like my algebra two and or pre-calculus course. You'll find links to those in the description below. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the fun part of this problem which course is actually calculating out the answer. Okay, so remember we have a two by two and we have another two by two, so we know the answer is going to be a two by two. We always have to uh, know in advance the size of our matrix, and then of course we have our various positions. So let's go ahead and calculate out row one, column one. So again, we're going to use the rows of the first and the columns of the second. So row one, column one is going to be this. All right, so we're going to go one times five, we write that right here in row one, column one, plus we're gonna move over three times two, okay? So one times five plus three times two is what? Five plus uh, six is 11. So you can see, and then we kind of scroll down here, that our answer for row one, column one is 11, all right? One times five times three times two. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. And now let's go ahead and quickly run through the rest of these as uh, you can always pause the video and kind of see what's going on. Let's do row one, column two. Okay, now we know the answer is 13. So we're gonna use row one, the uh, first row, right? This is row one, but we're gonna use the second column right here. Okay, so we're gonna have one times one is one, plus three times four is what? That's gonna be 12, so one plus 12 is 13. Okay, so row two, column two, we'll use this uh, row two. Uh, I'm sorry, row two, column one, right there. Matter of fact, let me kind of erase all this so we don't get too confused. And you can see probably already like, oh, wow, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I can see how people make a lot of mistakes here. Okay, so row two, column one, that would be this answer right here. So zero times five plus negative two times two. Let's go and see the work there. All right, so zero times five plus negative two. Uh, times two, and you always kind of want to do it this way as well. So this would be zero plus negative four, which of course is negative four. And then our last entry, uh, uh, row, row two, column two, we have to use zero, negative two, and one, four, right? So zero times one plus negative two times eight. And let's go and write that down, zero times one plus negative two times eight. This is zero, this would be negative eight, and there you go. All right, now this is actually a pretty easy example, kind of a nice introduction to matrix multiplication. Uh, the problems can get way more challenging than this, and that's why you know my my uh, little title to this video is you know I kind of have to think of these titles, right? Like, hey, most will make an error. Uh, yeah, I really do mean this. And I've been teaching this for a long time and doing this for a long time. It is very very easy to make an error when it comes to multiply matrices. So, you know, the best thing to do here is to be on high alert, right? That's just a good thing uh, when you're doing any math is to really increase your focus and say, all right, uh, the chances are, you know, I can make an error. So double, triple check, you know, being kind of full concentration, you know, when you're doing any mathematics. But hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.